<laughs> the only time I have ever screamed on a hunt. That looks so strange. Oh yeah, you guys got some stories from there? Did they happen to you at Porter County? That was the first hunt we ever went on. Oh, we went with, I was with you and Jason for almost the whole thing. It was, I saw pillars of light that just appeared. No. Orbs. Or one time, we had the um, cell sensor on the floor, mm -hmm. and this, literally, this ball of light was on this cell sensor and just, like, exploded. I can't even explain it. I know we're down in the, uh... The shower room area. Yeah, that's where we were. And we had the cell sensor sitting on the floor, and it would go off as we asked questions. Yeah. And it would actually answer the questions. It was going uh, one blink, one time uh -huh. for one, yes, two times for no, and then for whatever we were pipes asking. Pipes were knocking too. Pipes kept pipes knocking. Were knocking. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the um, things disappeared. Yeah. Uh, a lot well, of stuff the, disappeared. The boiler room seemed like a really evil place there. And we saw uh, like a um, half apparition of something really dark in there. Yeah, they got a really good picture there too. Uh, one of the former members of our group, they were in the uh, barn area again where I screamed. Um, they took a photo just you know of the facing outward, and you see a doctor standing there. Hey, it's back. <laughs> you see a doctor standing there, white button-up suit, you it's know, magic. shirt. You can see right through him. You can see the wood behind him. You can see everything behind him. It was an actual photo of a full-bodied apparition. One of the first ones we ever captured as this group. Um, I have to see if I can find that picture. I believe I got it saved on one of my computers. I get it posted awesome. on here. Um, the only other time, I, I think we've actually caught twice now two body, full-body apparitions. Um, we had that one at Porter County Home. We had the one at the high school. That we can't mention that we talked about earlier. Um, bitch slap high. Yeah, bitch slap high. Um, one of the members were actually taking a photo down the hallway, and you see a little boy standing in front of the uh, water fountain there. Um, again, that was see through that you know we can't explain. And the theater, so the theater that we can't talk about. Um, we had one where up on the stage, and they were taking a photo facing out into the uh, audience section, and you everybody was accounted for. You can tell you know who each person is. Sitting in one of the seats, there's what looks like a man, and you can see right through him and see the person sitting behind him. Those are our three full-body apparitions, I believe, that we've gotten. Um, again, a lot of these photos are on our website, you know, www.indianaparanormal.us. Um, just click on the message board section on the link there. Um, it's in one of the forums. It's called uh, Pictures, Our Pictures. Um, right in there, we, every hunt that we go on, every investigation that we do, if we're allowed to post the photos, we'll post them on there. We'll let you know, you know, whatever we find. Um, the last hunt that we wanted to talk about is the 100 Center. Um, it's another real historic building here in uh, downtown Mishawaka area. Um, the story is, back in 1953, one of the boilers there exploded. Ended up killing 53 people. Um, Bam! <laughs> uh, we didn't get too much uh, while we were there. I believe we did get a few photos that we can't explain. Um, EVP, stuff like that. Um, it was a very hard hunt to coordinate. Um, we did a lot of PR for this hunt. We had a lot of very new people that this was their first hunt. They didn't know how to, yeah. They didn't know how to conduct themselves on an investigation, know what was expected of them, stuff like that. Um, I think we had almost 40 or 50 people show up for it. So, I mean, you know, EVPs was hard to do, people coming and going, cameras always going off. You know, again, something like, you know, that, you know, some, hunts like that, you really want to have small people, five to six people, you know, max to do an investigation. Um, this is just more of a big, broad thing for us. We used it for PR, used it to try to get us some new members. Um, I think everybody did have a good time, though. We all enjoyed it. You know, one of the favorite haunted places around. Um, I do know the owners of the place. I'm going to try to get us in there for an overnight here hmm. soon and spend the night there. We got those faces. We got them faces. In that outside. one alleyway. And we got the raccoons in the dumpster. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we spent more time taking pictures and uh, taping the raccoons that we did looking for ghosts, but they were cute. Well, that's all I got for this week's episode. Um, please tune in again next week, and we will have another episode for you. Um, 
not sure what next week's topic's going to be. Maybe movie reviews or something like that. Bell Gunners. us. Um, we've got a lot of stuff we can talk about. Um, have some more co-hosts and stuff next week. Thank you.